Hello guys, welcome to Finestack. Today I'm going to show you how to make a age calculator app for Android. So obviously we need Android Studio. Let's start that. First of all, we will create a new project. I will give it a name Age Calculator. And as we will use Kotlin for our coding part, we have to include Kotlin support. In the next step, we have to select the target devices. I will select as low as possible so it can run most of the devices. In the next step, we will select empty activity and hit next and we will click finish. Now it will take some time to load up. I will fast forward it. Ok, now quickly make the layout. We need a text view and a button. We will rename the ID of text view to text view age and the button to button date picker. Well now let's go to the coding part. First of all I will store the button in an immutable object. Now we have to let the user to give his date of birth. That's why we need a date picker dialog. Let's create that. Now we have to pass 5 parameters. In the first parameter we have to pass the context. After that we have to pass on date set listener. In the next three parameters, we have to pass the current date that we want to show when the user starts the date picker dialog. So we need to know what is current date, current month and current year. Ok, now we have current date, current month and current year. Let's pass these values to date picker dialog. Well, this on date set listener will be called every time when we change the date. I will configure it later. First store the text view edge in an immutable object. Well, we have to use small case y in simple date format. By the way, the date picker dialog will not show if we don't call the show function. That's why in the button date picker's on click listener, we have to call the show function of date picker dialog.
Now let's create a function called age that will take user's date of birth and return his age in a string format. First we have to copy current date, current month and current year in another variables as we have to change those to calculate the age that way original current date, month and year will stay safe otherwise this program will start giving wrong answer after first calculation. Now let's create some variable to store user's age. Ok, now start coding the actual calculator. First we need a if statement that will be called if the user's given day of month is bigger than current date because we don't want negative age. We will increase the copied current date by 30 and decrease the copied current month by 1. That way we can perfectly calculate the age. Now if the given date is less than current date, then we don't have to do those plus minus, we can just calculate the date. We will do the same for the month. I am sorry for those time mistakes. By the way, this time we will increase the copied current month by 12 and decrease the copied current year by 1. Well, we don't have to do that plus minus for the year part because the user's given year of birth always should be less or equal of current year. Now return the age in a string format.
Okay, now let's set the date picker dialogs on date set listener. Now every time the user will change the date of birth, it will print his age in the text view. Well, let's move this declaration above this so the date picker dialog can detect it. That's the program. Now let's run it. Well, before that, I will change the default text of button to select POB and I will remove the default text of text view. As you can see the starting date is February 12 and the current date is January 12. Let's fix it. Well we have to set minus 1 to the starting month of date picker dialog because it expects starting month January as 0 and we are giving it 1 that's why this problem arises. Now let's give it a date of birth of 17th July 2000. It prints 18 years, 6 months and 25 days. Let's check it if the value is correct or not. Well, this website telling us that our program is giving us a wrong value. Let's check our code again. Oh, it's here. The date picker dialog giving us the starting month as 0, but we need the starting month as 1. So let's increase it by 1. Okay, let's start the program again. Now it's giving us the correct answer. By the way, the website telling us it's 26 days, but our program telling us it's 25 days. It's because we increase our copied current date by 30, or maybe they have done the calculation by any other method. I don't know. You can always check it out and fix it. Now we are in the end of our video. I want to say that you should not copy whatever I have done in this video because I am also new in Android. There are maybe a better way of doing this. You should find it out. Thanks for watching this video till the end. If you like this video, click on the like button. If you have any question, don't hesitate to comment below. And subscribe our channel to get videos like this. I will see you in the next video.